everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to be learning how to crochet this uh, river's shawl. And uh, that's the pattern that you see here in front of you, just a sample of it. It is a easy shawl. Uh, work with a variety of fairly basic stitches and uh, with just a simple edging around your two along your two shorter edges. This shawl is worked using two cakes of the Lion Brand Mandala Tweed, which is this that you see here in front of you. Uh, the yarn is quite nice. It's 100% acrylic. It's a lightweight yarn. Uh, and to me, it almost feels like a cotton. I absolutely love it. You can see it has a various colors kind of weaving throughout has very nice gradual changes uh, and it's just a nice yarn to work with it is a medium weight yarn and each cake has about 568 yards in it so you're going to need uh, two cakes or the equivalent of another worsted weight yarn uh, the yarn for today's video was generously uh, given in support by yarn Canada uh, .ca, and I'll have the direct link to the Mandela tweed that they have available there in the notes for this video. The color I worked my shawl in is called Lucky Penny and uh, there are two other colors there for you to choose from. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. For this pattern you're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook. And then of course a yarn needle and scissors for finishing off. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. There's also links there to my Etsy and Ravelry uh, should you wish to either add this pattern to your library or show the pattern a little bit of love, share it with your friends, and of course purchase an ad free PDF. Uh, so once uh, you have all of your materials together, uh, you can get started and uh, we're going to learn how to crochet this river's shawl. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, if you're new to my channel or you haven't already, please feel free. I invite you to take a look around and subscribe to my channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns as along, uh, along with stitch tutorials which are updated uh, every week on Sunday mornings. So for our rivers shawl today, you're going to start with your six millimeter crochet hook and your worsted weight yarn. You're going to make a slip knot and you're going to work a fairly lengthy foundation chain of a total of 226 chains. If you wish to do a foundation single crochet stitch, you're also welcome to do that. And you're going to need a total of 225 stitches. If you are working your foundation chain though, you will need a total of 226 chains. Once you have your foundation chain worked, it should measure approximately 62 inches long. Uh, my completed shawl was 64 inches long. Once you have your foundation chain of 226 chains, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from hook and then into each chain all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you will have a total of 225 single crochet stitches and you will turn your work and chain one. For row two, you are going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across.
at the end of row two, you will have a total again of 225 stitches and you will turn your work. For row three, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and single crochet into the second. Chain one, skip the next stitch and half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch and triple crochet into the next. You're going to do that twice. Repeat the chain one, skip the next stitch and triple crochet into the next. Chain one, Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next, chain one. You're now going to essentially repeat that pattern across through to the end, starting with that second single crochet stitch. So you've chained one, you're going to skip one, and you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, and continue to repeat. Chain one, skip the next stitch, half double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, triple crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, single, uh, triple crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, single crochet, and repeat. Chain one, skip one, single crochet, and so on. So you're going to repeat that sequence and you're going to see in your work, you're going to have this wave pattern all the way through. When you come to the end of your row, you're simply going to work one final single crochet stitch into that last stitch. Okay, so repeat that all the way across and then turn your work. At the end of row three, you'll have worked your last two single crochet stitches into your final two stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to, for row four, work one single crochet stitch into each stitch and each chain one space all the way across. So work one single crochet stitch into each chain one space and each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to turn and chain one. So at the end of row four, you will have turned your work and chained one. For row five, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row five, you're going to chain four and turn your work. At 
at the end of row five, you will have chained four and turn your work. We're now going to continue work to work some of that wavy pattern that you see here, except this time we're going to be starting with our triple crochets. So your chain four at the beginning of the row does count as a triple crochet stitch. So you're going to skip that first stitch and you're going to triple into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next. Now we're going to start to lengthen the stitches. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, triple crochet into the next stitch. You're going to do that twice. Chain one, skip one, and triple crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next. So you're going to continue to repeat that pattern all the way across. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to work one triple crochet into each of those final two single crochet stitches. So continue to work that all the way across and at the end of your row six, you're going to chain one and turn your work. So at the end of row six, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for rows seven and eight, you're going to single crochet into each stitch and chain space all the way across. So for rows seven, chain one single crochet in each chain one space and single crochet. And then for row eight, you're simply single crocheting into each stitch all the way across. At the end of each row, you will chain one and turn your work. At the end of row eight, you're going to have something that looks similar to this. We have two rows of your waves separated by uh, double rows of single crochet stitches. Now for the rest of the pattern, you are going to simply repeat that segment. So that was rows three through to eight, and you're going to repeat uh, those rows eight times. So this is for rows nine through to 56. You're going to repeat this segment here for eight times. And then you're going to repeat your rows three to five one more time. So starting, so your next row, you're going to start with the two single crochet stitches, chain one, skip one, half double crochet, and so forth. Uh, followed by your two rows of single crochet, and then you're going to start with that longer chain four. You're going to continue that at the end of uh, your work your shawl will measure approximately 18 inches wide. I don't use the full two cakes, so you might be able to get it a little bit wider if you prefer. Uh, I just liked the 18 inch width and uh, decided to stop there. So continue to repeat. That was once again rows three to eight. You're gonna repeat that eight more times, followed by rows three to five, one more time. And then you're gonna fasten off 
weave in your ends and uh, we're going to work a little bit of edging along these short rows. Okay, so then at the end of your row 59, you're going to have a piece of fabric that looks something like this in front of you. You'll have these beautiful color changes and uh, the wave design here throughout. At that point, you can fasten off your work and weave in your ends. And you're now going to work some rows, a few rows of edging along these the two short ends. So we're working along these unfinished ends of your shawl. We will not be working along the longer ends at this point. So then you're going to take your yarn and on the right hand side with the front end of your shawl uh, facing you, it doesn't matter too much, it's pretty much the same on either side. So on the right hand corner you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch. You're then going to chain one and you're going to work 73 single crochet stitches evenly across and uh, to make them even it can be a little bit of a challenge uh, what I recommend doing if you're having trouble is to place a stitch marker halfway across and then you can work half your stitches on one side half your stitches on the other side but you're going to work a total of 73 single crochet stitches across that shorter end of your shawl. Once you have 73 single crochet stitches worked evenly across, you're going to chain one and turn your work and row two of the edging is simply a single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So again, you'll have 73 single crochet stitches. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work the final row of our edging and it's going to be worked uh, with using some simple shell stitches, which are made up of double crochets. So you're going to, after you've chained one single crochet into that first stitch, skip the next two stitches, and then into the next, work five double crochets. Skip two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. You're then going to repeat all the way across. Skip two stitches, work five double crochets in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, single crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to end with a single crochet into that final stitch. You're going to fasten off your work and weave in your ends and then you're going to go ahead and repeat those three rows for the opposite short end of your shawl. That's all there is. Fasten off, weave in your ends, block the shawl if desired and that's all there is for working the beautiful rivers shawl so thank you so much for joining me again i invite you to subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you again soon until then happy crocheting bye